Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Plague Inc. Evolved Cure Mode. Last time we played around with the bacteria on Mega Brutal Difficulty and we were able to beat it without any issue using a strategy that I have devised. Since then, I've been playing with the virus using the same strategy and you can see that I have beaten it on Mega Brutal Difficulty, but I will say the virus is significantly more difficult. It is more infectious and also harder to trace, which means you don't know where it starts in the early game. You really have to track it down, which can surprisingly ramp out of control control if you aren't fast, so the virus is going to be a bit of a pain. Now, instead of using the exact same strategy as last time, though it does work, we're going to go ahead and add in a layer of complexity and try to manage quarantines. The reason I'm going to be doing that is because I am positive quarantining is going to be a major strategy required for the other disease types, and we need some practice. Also, since you guys surely watched my previous video, you're already familiar with the basics, adding in some extra mechanics certainly will not make things difficult for you, I am sure. Alright, we're going to change up our task force just a little bit. I do think the outreach coordinator can be good for non-compliance. That said, it only can work on one country at a time. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and use the fast response EMTs once again. Technical officer for the global infection rate is pretty good. Medical coordinator to reduce authority loss from panic is good because authority can become a serious issue. For our quarantine advisor, I'm not sure exactly what's going to be best. These three different uh, analysts here are going to change up how the AI governments respond to quarantine actions and exactly how that works, I don't know. But I can say that Celebrity Scientist is definitely good because non-compliance is a huge issue when you are implementing quarantines. We didn't have to worry about that last time, but we do this time. And I will stick with the Forensic Epidemiologist for the vaccine research speed. It's still pretty darn good. All right, let's give this one a go, and hopefully we have a good run today. Now we're going to start off in, let's say, Turkey, a good central location, and then we are immediately going to pause and grab the investigation of outbreaks, government partnerships, and the field operatives. Now, one difference you'll note right off the bat, we do not see where they are infected at the beginning of the game, whereas we did for bacteria. So figuring out where they, uh, the virus has started can be a bit of a chore. That's why we want to have the faster EMTs. I'm going to go ahead and move to the center area of several different continents, trying to track it down as quickly as we can and hope that we get lucky. It might be in Africa. It often does seem to be that way. Uh, apparently not this time. Let's try going over to Pakistan. Nothing there. All right, let's go over to Brazil. I'm trying to find it. This is getting a little scary. Oh, no. Where is it? Couldn't have been in the United States, could it? We have absolutely no idea where the virus is. Well, that actually bothers me quite a bit. Let's try Southeast Asia. It has been detected in Africa. Oh, okay. So I actually was close to it, but not apparently as far north as Central Africa. It probably started around South Africa then, and it only just now made its way over here. Okay, let's get down over here, see if we can grab that. I am going to pick up the infection control. We're going to go for some contact tracing and some border monitoring to try and reduce the spread out of new countries. While we get down here, and let's confirm, is it? No, South Africa was not the starting country. What about in Botswana? Yep, Botswana is the starting country. Okay. Well, that's bad. Uh, we do want to deal with that. However, I'm pretty sure South Africa is going to become more of a threat because it has access to planes and boats. So we're going to go ahead and try to leave our guys here and try to uh, slow down the spread of the infection. Alrighty, so with these grabbed, that's all well and good. Now we have to decide how to use quarantines. At the moment, I believe that the uh, virus is almost entirely contained just to Africa. We can see it did manage to get over here to Central America, but we'll say that most of it's right here. This is where we want to look at some quarantine options, because they're broken up by continents. If we take a look at Africa, for example, we can spend one resource to unlock different quarantine options in Africa. And that would include a total continental-wide lockdown, land border closings, sea access closings, or air access closings, all of which could be pretty helpful for us. I'm going to go ahead and grab the air access. Now, the problem is, every single time you pick up another quarantine, you can see the compliance risk starts to go up. The longer that people are locked down, the more likely they are going to outright refuse to follow any more of your instructions, and they're going to break lockdown, and the virus is going to spread rapidly. We can reduce that by going for things like furlough schemes, which goes for unemployment benefits so that people are not feeling quite as devastated staying at home under lockdown. There are more, of course, adapt society, mortgage and rent relief, etc., four in total, to reduce the compliance risk quite a bit. 
I am very worried about uh, Egypt right now, but we'll see what we can do over here in South Africa like so. We do want to continue focusing on burning down some of the uh, infectivity, so let's go for some hand washing. Self-isolation, would love to get social distancing, might be a little bit on the tricky side. Zimbabwe is spreading pretty rapidly. We could go for vaccine research already, but I'm a little concerned about whether or not we can pull that one off. Let's go for the social distancing and also some more contact tracing to try and reduce things as much as possible. Africa so far is not looking absolutely horrible. South Africa is kind of under control. Let's try going over to Zimbabwe because I don't want their lethality to bump up too much. We want to try to burn this down at least a little bit. Could go for some more contact tracing, but what I'm going to go for is some land border uh, screening so that it is less likely that this uh, disease is going to spread into neighboring countries. It's almost like a quarantine, but without having compliance risk. So that's what we're going to go for for right now. Yeah, Zimbabwe is giving me a lot of issues. Okay. Uh, it is starting to spread a little bit in North and South America. That does rather suck. One thing we can start doing right now is locking down Africa. And what this is going to do is demand that everyone go and stay in their homes. We're going to see a bunch of yellow borders in just a moment. Uh, there we go, as countries are starting to lock down. And now every time you see a little fist like that, that means that we're starting to see some signs of non-compliance. So we're going to want to use some more measures to try and reduce that if we can. Let's go for adapting of society. Now, it looks like Egypt is outright refusing to follow my orders, which is a bit of a concern. Oh, no, now it's gone away because of the compliance reduction. That's good. Could go for another one at 13 points. Um, authority is a huge issue whenever you go for a quarantine strategy, because as people defy you, your authority goes down by quite a bit. I'm a little bit worried about Central America, but we'll see. Yes, I know you want me to start on the vaccine, and I agree. We'll go ahead and get started just to make some progress. Egypt is outright refusing to follow instructions. We now are going to break the lockdown, refund our six points before we start losing too much of our authority. But that does mean that things are going to start exploding across Africa once again. That said, you can see that we were able to reduce how, much, how many people were uh, getting infected by a huge margin. We're back down into the thousands instead of the hundreds of thousands. So it's pretty darn impactful. Pretty darn impactful. Impactful. Uh, Central, uh, South America is starting to look like it's going to become a bit of a problem soon. We may want to consider doing some quarantine actions there as well. I am going to go for some more closing of the air access. Uh, attempting to go for more accelerated research, but I think instead we're going to go for some more contact tracing to try and reduce the spread as it gets into new countries, because that is certainly going to happen. And we're going to pick up some testing capacity as it starts getting to critical mass in a few places. We probably should go ahead and leave Egypt and get to Central America, uh, Central America now before this gets too much more out of control than it already is. Obviously, this can be on an exponential curve. And we are going to go for local lockdowns. Now, this is a problem for the compliance, but it does reduce infection rates by a pretty substantial margin, which can be huge for us. Uh, I would like to also go for, ooh, let's see, some disinfectants, perhaps. Um, and do we want to consider some more quarantine options? Let's see. Other countries, you know, it is in other continents, but it's not the absolute worst right now. Uh, I don't really dare go for too many more of these, though, or we're going to have compliance issues. I think now we have to save up for the mortgage and rent relief and try to burn that down a little bit more as uh, if possible. Central America just now starting to lose some numbers. That's great. Uh, Egypt, once again, is being a bit problematic. Would you please stop being such a jerk? Let's reduce that a little bit. Compliance is going down. Okay. Watch that authority. Things can get out of control really fast with your authority if you're not paying attention. All right, we're starting to have some bad numbers in at least Argentina. I'm not sure I want to lock down the continent over one country, but it is becoming a bit more concerning. We may need to lock down Africa again soon. Maybe. You spend a lot of your authority when you do have to um, lock down a continent, so be aware of that. Let's see. Uh, more compliance reduction would be nice. Let's see. We're only at 21% research. How are we looking as far as the spread of the virus? It's not too far in Europe. It is getting around a bit in Asia. Worries me. Um, I think we're going to go for some more contact tracing, since I don't think we've had massive spreads anywhere quite yet. I do think we're going to need to lock down Africa once again pretty soon. And we are getting Argentina under control, so I think we can save ourselves from locking down South America, at least for a little bit. But let's go ahead and go to Africa and once again force a full lockdown on that. They're not going to like it, but that's what it's going to be, at least for a little bit longer. Let's speed up that vaccine as well, because we really need to speed that one up. Egypt is going to be an issue. We can see they're dropping significantly huge numbers across the board as the population centers across Africa start to drop off. But Egypt, once again, is going to be a problem and hurt my authority. 
Ugh, love it. Let's go ahead and grab the public warning. That's going to increase my authority a little bit. We could then also pick up public alert to try and reduce non-compliance further, which is cheaper than the national stimulus. Um, these are two abilities that come with the virus. I don't believe that they exist for the... Um, I don't believe they exist for the bacteria. All right, so Argentina is more or less under control. I think we can afford to leave some of this right now. Let's get over to, let's say, India. And we're going to go ahead and shut down the lockdown in Africa, which is going to deal with the non-compliance issues. Egypt is still going to be a problem. Ironically, the ones who really would benefit the most from following my directions are giving me the most trouble. Uh, let's go for just tons of testing capacity because we know that that contact tracing ends up being very, very powerful for us there. Uh, India, you know, as much as I want to get over there and stop them, I think instead we're going to just go ahead and leave uh, for Egypt. Let's go for some Asia alerts, and we are going to go for... Let's see, am I worried about land borders more than anything? There's a few countries that have not had much infections yet. We could try to shut down the ports, but I don't see that working out too well. Um, let's just go for more air travel restrictions and try to reduce the spread a little bit more. See how well that's going to work for us. Uh, we could go for the field research, which we know does increase our speed of the vaccine, which I am going to go ahead and do. Though I think it's questionable whether that is the right choice right now, but we've more or less got this under control. It's just Egypt that's really starting to be a problem. We could go for some vaccine manufacturing. I would love to do that, but I also would love to try and reduce the spread a little bit more. So let's go for the mask wearing. Just try to reduce that. Egypt is now overwhelmed because there's so many fatalities that their hospitals can't keep up. And that's one problem with the fatality rate starts getting out of control. We can reduce that by picking up emergency care, where our field operatives are going to reduce fatality rate when present. And in Egypt in particular, that's relevant since the fatality rate has been so stinking bad. Okay, uh, we still don't really have any vaccine manufacturing going at the moment, but oh well. Uh, how are we looking in North America? Not great, but not the worst. South America looks like it's more or less under control. We're having some issues in India specifically, but otherwise not bad. So it's the US, India, and mostly just Egypt. Egypt is absolutely dying right now. Okay, well, uh, that's fine though. We're sort of keeping it under control. Let's get some vaccine manufacturing rolling so that we'll be ready to go as soon as this vaccine is done. Uh, with the exception of Egypt, I think we're doing okay, and that's because the early lockdown really saved a lot of Africa. It made a huge difference, and keeping on top of what was happening in South America made a big difference as well. I would love to go for improved supply chains. Don't think I can do that right now. Let's go for the PPE package, try to reduce the lethality a little bit more. There are still compliance issues in Egypt. They just are not following instruction. All right. We're going to go ahead and end this closed air access since Africa mostly is not having issues with compliance except for Egypt, and I need them to follow my directions. Now you can see that the numbers are starting to drop. Okay, that is helping. That is making a big difference. So when you find a nation that's particularly stubborn, sometimes you just have to pull back on the quarantining. This, by the way, is not what I was referring to in the last video when I said that there was going to be um, a lot of uh, micromanagement. So far, we played this fairly conservatively, and we're not using this too aggressively. We use the lockdowns in the early game to buy time to roll out more basic responses. As the contact tracing takes place, we're okay. Some strategies I worked with with the bacteria was to basically lock down, unlock down, lock down, unlock down repeatedly in order to keep things under control. And it did work. However... <laughs> However, on the virus, I find it to be a little bit difficult. We're going to go ahead and lock down South America, since it looks like Brazil's starting to get out of control a little bit. We'll probably have to pull back on that again soon-ish. Asia's more or less okay. Uh, Europe's not looking that bad. And Africa seems to be okay right now. Okay, so this is all very good. Uh, China's now a major concern, and we're having some issues down here in Brazil. So we're going to go ahead and have to turn off the full lockdown there because we don't want to lose too much more authority. Let's go for the improved supply chains so we can get uh, the rollout of the vaccine a little bit faster. Going for surge protocols and stuff would be nice. We're trying to burn this down here in Brazil. Getting a little out of control. They are still uppity. Okay, well, that means we're going to have to go ahead and stop with the closed air access. At this point, the damage is probably already done anyway. Let's just get them compliant so we can start bringing this back down. Compliance is a serious, serious issue. Let's go ahead and grab the public alert so they are more likely to follow instruction in the first place. Where else are we having issues? Anywhere in particular? Looks like we're having issues mostly in North America and South America. The U.S. is okay. It's really Brazil. And China's sort of all right. We could go for a lockdown temporarily here in Asia. 
And with as much compliance as we are getting, I think that most of them are going to follow it. It's going to be okay. We're seeing some people who are getting a little uppity. We're losing some authority as a result. But it's not quite the end of the world, and the numbers are dropping off quite a bit. But surprisingly, not as much in China as I think I was expecting. Let's go ahead and grab... Um, let's see, what do we want? We want to go for probably the surge protocols to reduce that fatality rate. It looks like Brazil's under control. We have to now stop the quarantine in China since they don't like that. That will get back some of my authority, as you can see. And now that we're setting up over here, we're going to look okay. The vaccine is complete. We are now releasing it. And we are going to be able to win this. I'm going to spend the last of my points first refunding this for the air travel. So we get our points back. And we're going to go for at least one level of authority to try and get some score back. Was that perfect? No, not at all. That was a pretty rough run. But as far as the virus is concerned, it wasn't too bad. The quarantining can be very powerful. You just have to know when to use it sparingly in order to uh, cut off the exponential curve at just the right moment. Too early with not enough people infected and you're going to have a lot of compliance issues. Just when that exponential curve goes up, people will follow the rules and the numbers are finally going to go down and you can stop it from getting out too far. So it's a very powerful tool, but there's kind of an art to knowing how to use it. Now, in this case, it took me over a year, 450 days. My previous record with the virus with this strategy was 320 days, so we had a little bit of worse luck this time. But we were able to beat it on Mega Brutal difficulty and we got two stars in the process. So not bad not the best but not bad at all if you follow that strategy and you're careful with your lockdowns i think you can beat it on mega brutal next we're gonna have to move on to things like the fungus now the fungus supposedly according to some comments i'm seeing does not work with this strategy at all so i'm looking forward to going back to the drawing board and giving this one a shot but we will try that next time thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed if so then i would ask you to hit that like button leave a comment subscribe make sure you hit that notify bell and i will see you guys next time